So today we'll be talking about strumming patterns, and I'm going to use Johnny Cash's I Walk the Line as an example, because it has a very simple progression and a very simple strumming pattern, so it's very good for beginners to learn. So there's two basic components to a strumming pattern. There's the downstroke and the upstroke. All strumming patterns are just a combination of both down and upstrokes, and you can practice that by just muting the strings with your left hand all the way, and just practicing going up and down on the strings. It's always good when learning a strumming pattern to do it without chords first, so that way you just get used to the feeling of the right hand without confusing yourself with the left hand fretting. So I'll teach you the strumming pattern that Johnny Cash uses, which is just down, down, up, down, down, up. So just practice that over muted strings. And then we'll get into the chords that we use during the song. Okay, so let's go over the chords that we use in I Walk the Line. So the progression uses the E chord, the A chord, and the D chord. I already showed you the A and the D chord. We'll go over those again today. But first, let me start by showing you the newest chord, which is the E chord. So to form an E chord, you'll take your middle finger, put it at the second fret of the A string, your ring finger, at the 2nd fret of the D string, and your index finger at the 1st fret of the G string. So that'll look and sound like this. And then we'll go over the other chords again. The A chord. We'll start at the 2nd fret of the D string middle finger at the 2nd fret of the G string, and ring finger at the 2nd fret of the B string. And then the D chord will have the index finger at the 2nd fret of the G string, the ring finger at the 3rd fret of the B string, and the middle finger at the 2nd fret of the E string. Okay, and so the progression will start at the E chord, then go to the A chord, back to the E chord, back to the A chord. then to the D chord, then back to the A chord. And then ending on the E chord. Okay, so let me give that to you one more time, and I'll play it a little faster for you. You go E, A, E, A, D, A. And then we'll zoom out and we'll talk about strumming with the chords. Okay, so when we're first starting out with a song, it's always good to just start by doing downstrokes and just doing a very basic rhythm so you get the chord changes down. So we'll just be doing downstrokes and we'll sit on each chord for about two bars. And one bar will be four strokes, so you'll count to four twice on each chord.
So just count like that, just doing a very basic downstroke pattern until you get the chord changes done. Then once you feel comfortable with the changes, you can start incorporating the full strumming pattern. And the strumming pattern will go like down, down, down. So after you've practiced everything and you feel comfortable with the changes, you can start incorporating that full strumming pattern. practicing it very slowly today and I encourage that you also practice it slowly so that way you get the core changes down and then once you're comfortable with it and you feel like you can do it at full speed you can go ahead and practice at full tempo. <laughs> Now if you recall, the way Johnny Cash plays it is with alternating bass notes. So while he's strumming, he's hitting bass notes like this. So just practice with the bass notes before you start throwing them in with the strumming as well. So on each chord, you'll just hit the alternating bass notes, which on the E chord will be the open E, and the A fretted at the second fret. So just practice going between those. And then you can move on to the next chord. The A chord, you'll be alternating between the open A and the open E. And then on the D chord, he alternates between the open D and the open A. So then just practice the full progression with just the alternating bass notes, and then when you feel comfortable with that, you can start throwing in the strumming as well. <laughs> 